Let's talk about sex habit. There are two major types of reproduction, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, however, the plasmodium, the, the parasite that causes malaria, is able to undergo both sexual and asexual reproduction. When a, a parasite enters an infected individual, it enters a red blood cell, eats, grows, and when it has had enough food, multiplies, and then multiplies into multiple parasites, and then go through the process of eating and growing. This, this process increases the parasite numbers exponentially, therefore causing the disease malaria. However, a tiny proportion of these parasites decide to be sexual, thereby developing into male and female forms. Then the question comes, can we block this sexual development phase so that we can be able to stop the transmission of malaria? Because these are the sexual forms that are picked up by mosquito and transmitted to another individual. This is where my PhD comes in. When we were looking at a particular parasite that was responsible, that, that was resistant to a new malaria drug, we found that this particular parasite is unable to make male and female parasites. The first thing we wanted to find out what is making this parasite unable to make female parasites. And the male parasite it produces, a tiny proportion of male parasite it produces, could not as flagellate, meaning they could not get hard. So these two parasites cannot be transmitted when picked up by a mosquito. When we looked at the transcriptum of these parasites, basically looking at all the genes that have been activated or unactivated, we realized that a group of genes called kinases were unactivated in this parasite line. Therefore, we, we are currently trying to look at the exact function of each of these kinases, each of these kinases genes in the development of the sexual stages of these parasites with the aim that if we're able to find inhibitors that can block this uh, sexual development, like contraceptives, can stop the development of the parasite in its sexual stage. So in the future, in partnership with other drugs that kill the asexual forms, these contraceptives that we are trying to develop can stop malaria transmission. Hopefully, by the time my PhD ends, I may be able to find some contraceptive that can make these parasites less sexual and more asexual. Thank you.